How's it going everyone? It's Avi from Weather Sponge 5000 and I hope you guys are enjoying your Thanksgiving as today we're going to take a look at the next few snowstorms that are expected to move through the Midwest in um, where we could potentially see a more significant snowstorm in the more long term future as we approach the early part of December which could also impact the Northeast in the more long term future. So let's first take a look at what the GFS model is currently forecasting now for this first snowstorm. The for, uh, the certainty is pretty high at this point. We already see a pretty elongated band of snow moving through the Rocky Mountain ranges at this time and is expected to continue to head further southeastward and encounter the warm and unstable environment that's located right over the southern Midwest. And it'll tap into some moisture for the snowfall, um, for the snowfall rate to enhance right around the Colorado area, extending into Kansas as well, and continuing to move forward with the forecast we do see a pretty heavy amount of snowfall right around the saturday time frame um on no um, november 25th so throughout kansas you need to be prepared for a pretty significant snowstorm where you could expect anywhere from three to six inches and i wouldn't be surprised that in localized areas you experience a little bit more than that now in terms of the bigger cities like denver denver should be shielded from the rocky mountain ranges from the worst of the snow um, due to uh, an uplift that's going on right over the Rocky Mountain ranges, which simply is the reason why Colorado for most of the year is rather dry relative to other areas in the United States, mainly because the Rocky Mountains do a good job of creating a rain shadow right over Colorado, or at least a precipitation shadow right over Denver to the point where Denver misses out on a lot of the heaviest snowfall that occurs um, throughout the state. However, you still should expect anywhere between one to three inches of snow um, from this storm system right around the early Saturday time frame that's when it should be the worst and then continuing to move forward with the forecast this storm system is expected to weaken as it continues ahead further eastward as it's gonna lose a lot of its cool air that was behind it during the um, when it was over the Rocky Mountains um, as it's the uh, air is be um, beginning to stabilize as it continues ahead further eastward however nevertheless you still should see anywhere between one to three inches of snow extending into st louis into chicago and milwaukee as well and then there's another clipper system just so northly which could enhance the snowfall in the more northern portions of the midwest um and the forecast like i said is pretty certain at this time this is between um 72 to 96 hours out there still could be changes maybe we do see this encounter a little bit more instability than what the computer models are currently forecasting which would bring more snow right over Chicago as well as Milwaukee and surrounding areas however at this time I don't expect any major shifts with the forecast I don't expect this to become necessarily a significant snowstorm for the Chicago area and surrounding areas so um so don't be prepared as if there's going to be a big snowstorm out but there's certainly that possibility that maybe the snowfall um accumulation forecast could increase to maybe three to five inches of snow um right around chicago however at this time the most likely scenario is maybe around an inch of snow um right around chicago northern illinois extending into northern missouri as well and then we do see the gfs model is expecting the snowfall to move into michigan as well and into the northern portions of indiana where you should expect right around an inch to three inches of snowfall um over this this area but not necessarily any um, not necessarily anything major and this would occur right around the late Sunday time frame for Michigan that's when the worst of the snowfall should occur and then for and same goes for Chicago as well northern Indiana southern Wisconsin you should expect the worst of the snowfall right around Sunday evening Sunday afternoon for St. Um, Louis um, however it's going to be a close forecast because the rain snow line will be pretty close so you definitely need to be a, a little bit more aware right around St. Louis because forecast is more uncertain for you guys depending on how much warm air uh, moves into the region because if the storm system moves a little bit further northward then 
It could entirely be a rain event for St. Louis, but if this were to move just slightly southward, this will mainly be a snow event, which would potentially bring up to three inches of snow right around St. Louis. However, you should overall expect one to three inches of snow over this area. Moving forward beyond this point, we do see that at this point, there's um, it'll mainly be a rain event for the United States once it heads towards the northeast, mainly due to the fact that there's a ridge just to the east of this slow that's going to force the low pressure system to move further northward and bring just enough of a strong southerly flow to bring the warmer air further northward and prevent the temperature from being cold enough to support for snowfall in the northeast so you should expect snow um, from this outside of maybe the higher elevations of the interior northeast but lake effect snow is certainly a possibility on the back side right around upstate new york extending into northwestern pennsylvania as well and maybe a few flurries could reach um the coastal areas of the northeast but not anything major now beyond this point there could be a more significant snowstorm based on what the GFS and the European model is currently stating. So let me first show you guys the European models, um, see what it's saying for this first um, snowstorm. And for this first snowstorm, um, it's a very similar forecast to the GFS model with some minor differences. So the forecast is pretty certain. We do see very similar trajectory, very similar um, area of snowfall. So this makes me believe that the forecast at this point for this storm system is very certain um it weakens uh, um like the gfs model as it approaches the ohio valley and then it's mainly a rain event for northeast so very similar forecast for the most part however beyond the five day mark that's when we do see pretty major differences between the computer models and that could mean uh, um, a big difference between experiencing a significant snowstorm or not receiving snowfall at all in certain areas of the Ohio Valley and the Northeast. So let's go back to the GFS model to see what it's stating um, for the more long term future. Um, so beyond the five day mark with the GFS model, we do see behind this storm system, although it's mainly going to be a rain event for the northeast, we do see it's going to bring a strong northwesterly flow, which like I said, would bring not only lake effect snow, but very cold air right over the northeast and that should set the stage for our next potential snowstorm and then on the back side we should see a, sm a small and weak clipper system move in by the wednesday time frame now this clipper system will be key the european model wants to bring this clipper system a little bit further northward which would prevent the cold air from moving as far south for this snowstorm or at least for um, um, this, the heaviest of the snowfall to impact the United States. Um, but in the GFS model scenario, this Clipper system is a lot further southward, which allows a cooler air mass to linger around the Northeast for a little bit longer and the Ohio Valley, where we do see a pressure gradient between this ridge and this Clipper system, continuously bringing a northerly flow um, right over this storm system. And same goes for a low pressure system that should develop on the back side of this first trough moving through um, it should enhance the northerly flow for the cold air to linger around and that could set the stage for a next snowstorm because we're going to see that um a subtropical low should move from the um right around the border of Mexico and texas and as this continues ahead further northward we, we do see that there's going to be a decent amount of cold air um as well moving into the pacific northwest you probably can't tell based um due to the fact that there isn't really a low pressure system but it's certainly going to be enough to bring the like, enhanced instability where we do see a pretty large area of rain and then of course snowfall right around the ohio valley where we see heavy snowfall right over chicago indianapolis into milwaukee as well and then this extends into ohio before eventually the gfs model wants to weaken it however i definitely at this um at this point in the forecast wouldn't rule out that we see an even more significant snowstorm develop out of this area of instability there's still a lot of days to iron out this forecast um and, um so um there's definitely that possibility this could maybe be stronger or maybe this is primarily a rain event depending on how much cold air lingers around the northern united states just a lot of questions to be answered there's more questions than answers um when it comes to a storm like this but i'll certainly keep you guys updated once we get more certainty with the forecast but if this were to come for fruition this certainly would be a pretty significant snowstorm for the ohio valley and taking a look at what the european model is stating the european model 
while it, it agrees that there's going to be a storm system developing right around the same time period, it does not agree regarding where exactly the heaviest snow will um, occur. So taking a look at the European model, we do see that this Clipper system that I was talking to you guys about is a lot further northward in this scenario and doesn't move as far south. And uh, that's an, um, and that could be an issue if you're wanting snowfall in, right around the Ohio Valley because since this Clipper system is a lot weaker and doesn't move as far southward, that means there's less of a pressure gradient between this ridge and this low to bring a strong enough northerly flow to bring that cool air for a southward. As in this scenario, we see that um, this um, the ridge the European model expects a lot more ridging, which forces a low to uh, stay further northward and prevents cold air from lingering around. So while the European model also expects a high amount of instability to occur right around the same time period, it expects primarily a rain event where we do see some snowfall in northern Michigan, but that's about it. It's primarily a rain event thanks to the lack of cold air in the northeast. However, um, if we were to take a look in the more long-term future, look at um, how strong northerly flow is right here. This could be a catalyst for our next significant snowstorm for the Midwest and the Northeast, where we do see the cold air is in place. We do see a decent amount of instability occurring right around the Southeast. So if this rain were to move further northward, we could potentially have a significant snowstorm in our hands, but still, a lot to iron out with the forecast at this time. What really will be key is the is um, how strong the ridging will be. If the ridging is stronger, you should expect a less likely shot of snow, at least from this snowstorm. Um, I can't really say for certain about this one just yet. Um, but if the ridging ends up being a little bit weaker and we see this crypto system move further southward, then we should expect a larger area of snow and potentially a more significant snowstorm for the Ohio Valley. So still a lot to iron out with the forecast, but I'll certainly keep you guys updated over the next few days. So in terms of this first snowstorm, this is what you should expect over the Midwest. 6 to 12 inches right over Wyoming, northern Colorado, into western Nebraska, and northwestern Kansas as well. Um, so you should expect a pretty significant snowstorm over those areas. Denver, Colorado, you should be anywhere between 1 to 3 to 3 to 6 inches of snowfall, which will be a decent snowstorm for you guys. Um, at this extent, um, the 3 6 inch range also extends into Kansas. And for Chicago and Milwaukee and surrounding areas, I'm expecting around 1 to 3 inches of snowfall um, over this area. So definitely be prepared for that right over the Midwest um, as we approach th um, this weekend. And for our next possibility of a, me of a major Midwest and Northeast snowstorm, definitely take a keep a close eye on early December because I think that could be the prime time of when our next major snowstorm will impact the Midwest and Northeast. But still... Far from certain at this time, it could easily be too warm for a snowstorm, but that possibility certainly exists by around that time period. So definitely at least keep an eye on that. But that's it for now, guys. I thank you guys for watching, and I hope you guys all have a great Thanksgiving.